James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're tying a gorgeous Amerna Gildo Zinnia tie. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm, uh, I have never worn this tie before, so I'm looking forward to it. I've still got a handful of ties that I haven't worn that I'll be uh, tying for you guys. And when that starts getting low, I'll order a bunch more because I like to always try brand new stuff. Um, I actually was uh, joking with my girlfriend this weekend. I've got all these ties. I mean, a huge collection of ties. And I don't think I've worn the same tie twice in the last year or so. Um, and I just love ties. I can't get rid of them. But anyway, we're gonna we're, we're maybe gonna do a tie giveaway at some point. We'll talk about that in the future. But today it's all about this tie. This is an Armando Gildo Zinnia tie. It's a really classic looking tie. Very clean. It's yellow with uh, yellow circles framed by little blue diamond shapes, little geometric patterns. Um, and it's kind of almost a gold look. It's definitely yellow, but uh, like an old gold or yellow, kind of like the Western Mountaineers. Go Mountaineers, that's my football team, by the way. Kind of like their color. Absolutely love it. So I'm pairing that with navy blue because I just think that is the Go Mountaineers color. It's going to look really good together. And with a light blue shirt. Uh, as far as a review, uh, Zinnia products are always top notch. Lace perfectly. This is not a super thick. It's kind of a medium thickness. Has a really nice feel to it. You can just tell it's been constructed with high quality Italian silk. Let's tie this baby up. See how it comes together. We have a spread color day so we can create a bigger knot, you know. Um, but uh, I'm just going to see how it comes together here. First thing I'm going to do is find my spot. So what I'm looking for right now is based upon the thickness of the material, where would I need this to be? It's probably going to be around this range here. And that puts me just below my pectoral muscle here. We're taking the long part of the tie and cross the short part. We come up behind and through. Now we're going to come around behind, keeping everything nice and tight. Hold on to that knot all the way around, up, over, down, and through. Now I'll call this the checkpoint. I want to make sure I've got a nice triangle going here, which I do. And then I'm going to come out over the top again, keeping everything tight, creating a little pocket right here. Down behind, up, and through again. If I can get my finger in there. There we go. And now we're going to push it down through that pocket we just created. Hold the top of the pocket. Pull the tie down through. And we take the edges and pull it, pull them to the side. And now we're going to tighten this knot and it's going to become a perfect triangle. We hold the long part of the tie and the knot. I'm sorry, we hold the knot, pull the long part of the tie. Check this out. Whoop! Perfect triangle, right? Now we're going to hold the knot and pull the short part of the tie, the back of the tie, to bring it up to our neck. And then we want to check for length. We want the tip of the tie, that's this part right here, to be between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. And we were actually not quite to the top. So we have two options here, two options. I can tighten this knot up a little bit more. Let me see how that works. Hold the knot, pull the long part of the tie, and see if that gives us more slack. It's not quite enough slack. So what this tells me is I didn't tie the tie long enough. I didn't leave enough room. So we're going to redo it, right, because we want the tie to look perfect. That tells me that silk was a little thicker than I was anticipating, so I need a little bit more space on this side over here. So we're going to give it some more space. We're going to come all the way down to here now, and that's going to put us a little bit higher on this side. And now we're going to go a little quicker. So around behind, all the way around, up and over. Checkpoint around the front, back in behind, down through our little pocket. A lot quicker now because I've already showed you how. Tidy it up, tighten the knot, whoop, up to the top, and now we are halfway down the belt buckle, right, belt buckle, right where we want to be. Guys, it's okay to tie your tie wrong. I do it all the time, you know, especially a brand new tie where I haven't tied it before, I get it wrong. So I just fix it and do it right. Now I've got a perfectly tied tie. Let's bring this color down. Let's see how this whole thing comes together here. We don't want any gaps at the top here, so I'm going to take and tighten the tie up to the top. Boy, that nice wide knot looks great in that, wind, in that uh, spread color. It looks really good. Tuck the tie in. Let's just make sure we get everything right. That's all good. Halfway down the belt buckle, perfect. The look is going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. Go through it with you right now. We have a navy blue Zinnia suit, a Myrna Gilda Zinnia suit. We're pairing that today with a light blue Isaia shirt. So Italian suit, Italian shirt, and Italian tie. We've got us a Imerna Gildo Zinnia a yellow tie with some blue geometric patterns through it. And we're just staying all Italian though. We've got a Ferragamo belt on. It's a light brown with a gray belt buckle, kind of a gunmetal belt buckle. And we're pairing that with a pair of light brown Ferragamo Oxfords. Check out my Instagram, Tie Guy James Acres. On my Instagram, we see close-ups of the tie, the knot, selfies of me wearing it. The whole outfit staged right here on my wall. Close-ups of the shoes and the belt and the labels and everything else. Check that out. Guys, I really appreciate you watching. Please, if you, if you haven't already subscribed, click subscribe and like. And I'll keep on creating content for you. Guys, I'm ready for work.